So in this last week, we've responded to a government consultation on changes to the way that drivers and pilots are tested for alcohol if they're suspected of driving or flying over the limit. The current situation, let's say in the case of a driver, if uh, they're thought to be over the limit, is that they'll have a roadside breath test. And then if that's over with the limit and within certain limits, they're then offered what's called a statutory option. This is the option to have a blood test back at the police station or at a hospital. Now, that blood test can be done within an hour, and the effect of that up to one hour's passage of time is that the amount of alcohol in their body can fall, and so that when they then have the statutory test, which is the important test on which prosecution may be based, they could have a lower amount of blood alcohol. So the government are motivated to bring about a change where the statutory option is removed in order to A, catch people at the level of alcohol at which they really are driving and flying, uh, but also to save money on second sets of tests. But the problem for pilots, where the legal limit for blood alcohol is one quarter of that of flying and where accuracy really matters because the consequences are so severe, is that removal of the statutory option, the removal of the option to have the blood test, means that there isn't an independently verifiable check on what that level was. And this could be a result that could see a pilot going to prison. So it's terribly important for pilots that the statutory option is retained, and that's what we've argued for very forcefully in this recent government consultation.